All right, hey everyone, and welcome to another vlog. So guys, uh, got some kind of sad news and uh, some exciting big news. Uh, so yeah, first things first, the uh, the sad part is that I I had to get rid of the the Wrangler. So yeah, it was finally time. Uh, I've had that car. I've had that car for uh, four years, um, six if you count the two years that when my dad had it, he had it first, and then he gave it to me. Uh, so then I took, and I took over the payments for that, but, like, I've had that car for, like, that's the longest I've ever owned a car, um, uh, so, yeah, yeah, and I, uh, it's been about two months now, and I, I, I miss that thing, like, even though it was a, a walking death trap, I, I, it was, like, every time I got in that thing and, and drove it, drove it to, like, to, like, work or, like, whatever, it, it always was exciting, it always felt like I was going on an adventure, and, uh, yeah, to, to see that car go, um, really sad, but I wasn't sad for long because I traded that car in for what I'm sitting in now, because what I'm sitting in right now is my new Jeep Gladiator. <laughs> so, guys, I cannot believe this. Like, I, like, I, I got this truck, like, two week, like, two, uh, months ago, and I, I've had this thing for two months. I put 2,000 miles on it already, and, like, I still can't believe this is mine like it's so fucking it's so smooth it's so nice and like uh it's like a complete night and day and like i can't believe i have a like i have a pickup truck now this is so it's so cool oh my god like when i went to the dealer to like to like i was only there, i was only there to like look for like wheels or whatever like i wasn't planning on buying a, buying a car but let me explain so one of the reasons why I traded my Wrangler in for this was because for one, the, the transmission on my uh, on my Wrangler was just about ready to go, and every morning when I'd start it up and like the first like uh, like minute or so of like me driving, it would always slip out of gear, and it always it, it was not a pleasant thing to feel, like having having a car almost like slip out of gear, then like the, if you feel the transmission jerk jerking itself. And it's like, it it was it was you could tell like it was about to about ready to explode, like I think it was called the forty two RLE or whatever that that four speed transmission was is garbage. So, yeah, I'm surprised that that car lasted that long with me at the wheel. Uh, so yeah, this like is it's it's definitely an upgrade. Like I I still can't believe this is my this is my truck. Uh, it's under my name now. So so. Uh, every previous car I've owned before this was under like my my parents name or like my dad's name I think so yeah this is finally uh this is a single owner now it's I'm the only person who's ever owned this truck this is mine I'm planning to like have this as like my forever vehicle like so yeah just turn it on right now uh right now I have 23 uh almost 2400 uh miles on it right now but like i plan on putting like, i plan on putting like hundreds of thousands of miles on this thing i just want to take this across the country because it's so it's so freaking smooth like it's so like like my last my last car the wrangler like i'm just i was so used to just getting like rocked hard every time i go over a bump with this it just glides over because for one thing it's brand new and uh, another thing is because because of the fox shocks all around there there's like one in the front uh like one yeah there's there's it's all around and it's got uh reservoirs uh on it too for like all the fluids and stuff yeah the, like you can see the reservoir right there but yeah dude it's like it's so it's, it's so freaking nice like i can't believe it and it's the mojave too so i think the way it goes is uh with with gladiators it starts with sport sport s then high altitude sahara then rubicon and mojave i think mojave and rubicon they're around around the same thing they're only the only difference is this is meant for desert running, whereas the Rubicon is more like an off-roading, off-roader for like rock crawling and stuff. But yeah, let's look inside here. Yeah, like all the and all the tech here. Uh, I'll let me explain in a little bit. I want to preface this: this is not like a Doug Demuro video. I'm not going to show you all the quirks and features. I'm just doing like a little tour around my 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 new truck just to like show like surface level like every, all the new things that like that are in here so i'm not doug i'm no doug <laughs> so uh in the middle uh is the uh, eight i think it's 8.4 inches uh 
the the uh, Uconnect touchscreen, and like it's it's there's like so much on here. Like you, it has so it has like a lot of apps and stuff. Like you, have, you can have like a Wi-Fi hotspot, and like you can have a the um, app, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. If it look, it's wired. It's a wired connection, which is. This is all right. I would have preferred like a wireless connection, but it's no biggie. And uh, let's just see what else they have here. Yeah. So from the screen, you can control stuff like the uh, the heated seats or even the uh, the climate control. And you don't necessarily have to control the uh, the the climate stuff from the screen. You, they do have um, they do have physical buttons here, which I do appreciate. Like I, I'm glad it, it's not every everything is not. Um, done through the screen like it is on a tesla or whatever but yeah media here uh has satellite radio which i've which i've never used like i i just uh i do everything through through my phone like through android auto like have i have my youtube music on there and uh all that stuff so yeah heated seats like i still can't believe i have heated seats like i've never had that before and a heated steering wheel like i'll i'll say this I used I used to dunk on people that that had heated steering wheels. I'm like, oh really? That's like the most unnecessary thing ever. If you live in a cold climate or like like places where it does go below freezing, this is like a necessity now. Like I like I I, I truly believe now. Like this is like this has saved my fingers. Like because <laughs> it's it's like it's like almost December now, and I like it's getting really colder. Like especially in the morning when I when I get up and I go to work and I like I get in, I get in here and it's freezing as hell and and like having a heated steering wheel is like it's a must and like the heated the heated seats too like the being that they're leather like they they're like they're like ice blocks in the morning but like I'm glad that they they have a heating function they're not cooled uh I don't really I'm not really worried about that like I can that's what the windows are for and like I can remove the roof. In this one just like just like the the wrangler uh so yeah i'm glad it I'll, i'm glad it does have that some other things that you can do here um this auto stop start i've never used this i it is it is the bane of my existence i and i <laughs> I, I dunk on i dunked on this feature before on other cars but this uh, like i'm still dunking on it now like this is the most this is the stupidest thing ever invented and every time i jump in the car and drive off i always remember to turn that off like the amount of gains you're getting from using the auto stop start like this is a little rant i'm going on right now but the amount of gains you're, you're getting from the auto stop start like it's so minuscule especially in this in this truck like it's so minuscule that like it's just pointless <laughs> like i like i'm currently getting and this is awful uh i'm currently getting 12.4 mpg like having that system on like made no difference i might have gotten like 0.1 of an mpg better having that but like all that does is just it wears out the starter motor and it kills your engine every time you got to stop it and then start it up again like most most of your engines wears happens at startup just so like just just for longevity's sake i always turn that thing off like just do yourself a favor everyone if you have that just turn it off and another thing one more thing uh, on the screen is that it this has off-road pages so if you just wait one second this does take it does take a minute because like it this is similar to like the dodge charger and challenger's um performance pages so like it has to like load up and the computer and and what this does it shows you different stuff like coolant temp oil temperature your battery voltage and it shows you your pitch and roll that's that's so freaking cool like i still can't believe it that's so freaking cool like if i if i go on like an like an off-road trail like i can have this open so i can see my pitch and and roll and whatever see if i'm gonna go if i'm gonna go off or whatever and it shows you your drivetrain how much power is going to like what wheel or whatever this is this is so freaking cool like i can't even believe i can't believe this is my this is on my truck i can't i i this is so baffling and the the navigation uh so far it's it has not disappoint disappointed me like i've only had to use it once when we went on a little trip to pennsylvania but yeah it it works it does it does what it needs to it doesn't it hasn't gotten me stuck like some other people have with with apple maps uh, shots fired but yeah this it it works good works just as good as my uh as my google maps on my phone like i i, I don't even have to use this i can just have my i have my uh I can just mount my phone up here and like just use that but like the sat nav on this uh it's all right and one other thing i gotta i gotta add the transmission on this on this uh truck it's so smooth like 
I think this is the ZF transmission that they use that, like, FCA or Stellantis, like, they use in, like, a whole lot of their other vehicles. Like, they use this in, like, Alphas or whatever, or, like, like a lot of, a lot of companies use this transmission and it's like smooth like and I can even I can even uh oh wait I can even shift it manually and I've got to be honest I've used this manual shifting it's so fun <laughs> like like it it replaces the it, it doesn't fully replace the need to like have a have a have a dedicated manual but like it's it feels like I'm playing a video game and like it does assist you like uh, if you're going to a stop and you have it in like fifth gear or whatever, it'll just automatically put it back into first and like you could just start from the beginning that way. But yeah, it's, it's very, it's very fun. I just wish I could hear the engine's revs a lot more, uh, so you can know, uh, when to shift or whatever. But like, if you just keep it, keep the shifts like in between like uh, 3,000 and 4,000 RPM, then you'll, you should be fine if you just, if you're just paying attention to that, you know, you don't even really need to hear the engine, but, like, I would, I would, in, in the real world, like, like to hear it a little bit more, uh, so the deal is, um, I cannot touch anything, like, engine or drivetrain related on this car, I can add lift, I can add wheel, bigger wheels, uh, anything cosmetic I can do, but, uh, exhaust, can't do that for like the next four years that's part of that was part of the lease agreement and um yeah so basically i gotta run silent for like the next four years every like every car i've ever owned has had either something done to the exhaust or like or like straight pipes like my first car was uh i'm gonna miss uh having that like that like verbal like feedback from the engine like i miss i'm gonna miss having that so four years it's all i gotta wait <laughs> Uh, back seats kind of like the same as the Wrangler. Uh, you see, I got the the boot child boots seat for AJ. So, yeah, uh, nothing to write home about. It has a good amount of good amount of room back here. Uh, all same leather seats as it, as it is um, out in the in the front. Uh, so yeah, what I like back here, this does have uh, some air vents. So like there will be some air going to the to the rear occupants, and it has an actual household household plug there so you can put you can plug in your nintendo 64 if you wanted to not that you would but like you could <laughs> if you wanted and there's some other uh usb c inputs and usb a inputs back here and it has the and it has the uh uh window controls back here so that's that's pretty cool uh i want to peel this so bad but like i just i want to leave that as long as i can <laughs> like like a year from now maybe i don't know yeah and another thing i like is that this this has the uh like what other trucks do have uh, is, which is this rear window, so you can get at whatever you need to in the bed of the in the bed of the truck. So this is per this is pretty cool. Yeah, you can see I, I I have I have my like net there for like when I have my fire gear uh, in the back, so I like to have it secured there. So that's pretty cool. So now onto the bed. Uh, one thing I do like is that it does it does come with. Um, uh, some bed liners, so like it, it, it's at least protected. Uh, one thing I don't like is that it's only five foot, so like you can't hold. Uh, you can you can hold a good amount, but like not as much as like other uh, mid-sized uh, pickup trucks. So yeah, like this is just so cool. Like just to have have a, a bed in general. Like I've like now I can I can finally say that I own a pickup truck. Like it's 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 so cool. Uh, I still can't believe this is mine. All right, now driving the new 2022 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. So, uh, like I said before, uh, like my old Wrangler, like I'm, I was so used to just getting rocked hard at like every single bump I, I, I went over, but now this one, it just glides over everything. Like it's just, it's so smooth, it's so comfortable. It almost feels car-like, but it, but this is, make no mistake, this is still a, uh, a body on frame uh, truck. So like it, uh, it does still, you still feel that that sort of like truck DNA, like it it's, uh, still feels rugged to a certain point. But it, compared to everything I've owned before, this 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 is like the smoothest thing I've ever driven. Like like compare like it like at like every out of every car I've ever driven, this is the smoothest thing I've ever driven. Until I drive until I drive a Rolls Royce, I don't know <laughs> someday. And yeah, as for that power. All right. <laughs> All right, drive safety, drive safe. So this truck has the 
uh, venerable Chrysler uh, 3.6 Pentastar V6. So uh, it has in this one, oh my God, my heated seats are still on. <laughs> Hot ass. Uh, so yeah, so it has three, uh, 285 horses, if I remember, and 260 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Miles quicker than my Wrangler. Like, I'm, I'm dunking on my old Wrangler so much, but, like, I still love that car. But, like, God, that thing was so slow. Like, I was so, like, I was getting, uh, I was getting taken to, Al to Gapplebee's every time I went on the highway. Like, it was, like, impossible to, like... Uh, get past anyone because like that thing had like 202 horses and 237 I, I think pound feet of torque on that and that old Wrangler but like yeah it this one it's just so much more comfortable and and qu uh, much more quicker that I don't even have to like b do full throttle like uh full throttle starts like I did in my in the Wrangler like I was so used to flooring that thing everywhere I went but like this one like I it's just quarter throttle everywhere like I don't even have to worry about about being a liability on the road like this is this keeps up with traffic pretty good I don't if I need to pass somebody I don't have to worry about like not not being quick enough to to get in into the passing lane uh but like yeah it's it, this is so uh well behaved on, on especially on the highway too and uh, one thing I've had to get used to was the fact that this is a, a pickup truck and it's much longer than like a normal SUV. Uh, so like, it, it's it's a bit of a learning curve. You'll have to get used to parking. You have to like take into account the the, the bed in the back. Uh, so I haven't had any issues with parking so, uh, so far. Like, um, but yeah, uh, that's one thing to consider. Like, um, just keep in mind the length of the vehicle, uh, and you'll be golden. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, this does have uh, the axle locker, and uh, unlike the Rubicon uh, Gladiator, this does not have the front lockers, it only has the rear only, because uh, this is only meant for for um, for desert running, uh, high speed desert running, it's not meant for like hardcore, like rock crawling, like the like the Rubicon it, uh, model is, so yeah, that's one thing to take into account, also it has the off-road plus mode. Um, in terms of drawbacks, um... The only thing I can think of right now is um, the gas mileage. So yeah, I think um, uh, Jeep states that um, it gets 17 or what or 18 in the city and uh, 22 on the highway. Um, I'm not getting that. So uh, what I'm <laughs> like I said before, I'm getting like 12.4 uh, MPG, uh, probably due to like the the colder weather. But like I drive this um, most like like about 50 50 like city and highway mileage mileage and like it's it's like i like i'm spending uh like like 50 or 60 dollars like every week just to fill this thing up it it takes about a week for it to empty its tank and the range is about like what 250 miles which is like not a lot like i've seen some uh some other like uh pickup trucks that have like a have like a larger fuel tank and they can they can do like 100 miles more than that like they're, they're in like like 300s or 400 hundred range so yeah uh the range a bit disappointing uh i wish they could have added like a bigger fuel tank but yeah dr uh it's the only drawback I, I can think of right now I'll, if there's another i if there's another uh i'll put it in like the description or whatever so yeah so yeah guys uh that's that's a tour of my uh, of my new jeep gladiator mojave and i i i freaking love i've only had this for two months but i just fucking i freaking love this thing it's uh, it's so nice like this is the nicest thing i've ever i've ever like owned <laughs> like uh and I, I still can't believe it's under my name now so this 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 truck has only had one owner and that's me and i plan to keep this thing for as long as like long as i can like this is like like this is like de de it's, it's genuinely a milestone like i i still can't believe like i like i bought a i bought a truck like this is mine like i uh it's it's like it's one of the, it's one of the dreams. It's it's such a dream to like own this, uh, finally own something. It, like it says your name on on the, uh, like on on the piece of paper or whatever. So yeah, so excited. But yeah, guys, uh, that's about it for this one. Uh, more stuff to come later. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.